Ahoy hoy. So I've done a video on SCP-173 probably six or seven times at this point. And the reason behind that is it's an incredibly popular SCP. And right now, of course, one of my SCP-173 videos is blowing up again. Uh, it's already got almost three quarters of a million views. And it's earning more, as always. I don't have a problem with that, but I thought I would take advantage of the renewed interest and talk a little bit about how there is a double standard on the SCP Wiki when it comes to plagiarism. What's that got to do with SCP-173? Let's find out. So first, we probably need to talk about what plagiarism is. Plagiarism is presenting a creative work as though it were an original creation of your own when it isn't. This can also extend, sometimes, to through inaction, allowing others to believe that it is a creative work that you originated. So, how does that apply to SCP-173? Well, SCP-173's text is inspired by Weeping Angels. I I'm not going to pretend anymore like the SCP Wiki does. This is part of the double standard. I'm not going to pretend anymore that the SCP-173 wasn't inspired by the Weeping Angels. The dates match up too well. It was literally created like a week or two weeks after the Weeping Angels premiered. Now, the idea is open for anybody. A statue that moves when you're not looking at it is an old, old concept. I'm not So it's not the text that's really the problem. However... <laughs> Because of, the, because of its mythic nature on the SCP Wiki, you're going to find plenty of people who will claim, without evidence, that it was created before that time period. I, rem I remember it being around in August, or, or no, I'm sorry, April of that year. So there's no way by June, when the Weeping Angels episode came out, that it, that, you know, that it wasn't already in existence. It wasn't. None of that's true. It was <laughs> the earliest version, and I, I, maybe I'm wrong. I'll, 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 give, I'll put that out there. Maybe... Everything I found on the internet and every single bit of research I've done and a bunch of other people have done uh, to find the original posting, which says that it's like after Weeping the Angels, but only a couple of weeks, which means the, the, the proximity is too close for them not to be related, I would personally say. Regardless, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it existed before that. I don't think so, but... I'm open to the possibility that all of the research I've done is completely incorrect or incomplete. Regardless, that's not the issue here. The issue is untitled 2004, and I would show an image of it right now, but I can't because it's a stolen image that only limited uh, reproduction rights were granted to the wiki for. And the, since this is a commercial work, I can't put the image of SCP-173 in my videos. And therein lies the problem. And we're going to compare SCP-173's plagiarism. And image plagiarism is plagiarism, plain and simple. It's no different than literary plagiarism. And by the way, plagiarism and copyright are not the same thing. I've, I've harped on this a couple of times in previous videos, but something can be okay by copyright law and still be plagiarism. Plagiarism is a moral crime, for lack of a better way to put it, and in a lot of cases isn't a crime at all. It's just something that is severely frowned upon in the creative community of any creative community, really. However, creative communities tend to only value their own types of work. So when you put a stolen image up on an article, they don't think to themselves that's plagiarism. They just think, oh, well, we need to fix that. Actually, not, not only until very, very recently is that true. In fact, the current images policy, which has reduced our total load of unlicensed images to something like 30, I think, at most, maybe, maybe even less than that, uh, was a, a system that I created and then left before any of the hard work had to be done. So a bunch of other people actually uh, uh, took up the mantle after I left and it works. Making people source their images, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. I'm watching a lot of screen rant right lately. See? I, 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 I made a reference in a quote, and then I said where it came from. Anyway, point is that the image on SCP-173 is straight up stolen. Okay? And after the fact, 
And by the way, the artist had to get into contact with us at the SCP Wiki in order to get this to, in order to get this taken care of. But but let's just move on for a second and talk about the fact that uh, let's talk about the double standard. Okay, one of the easiest articles to use as a reference is something called the Moots or Mutes. Um, and the reason why it's a good to use as a reference is because it contains both type of, pl of plagiarism. No one assumed that the Mutes images were original. It was a very popular series two skip. And not a single person thought that the images in that article were original. And yet they were okay with it. Until they realized where it was actually from. Once they looked it up and found that it was from an Etsy page, they were like, oh, okay, so this is who it is we would need to contact to get in charge. Wait a second. And they looked at the listing and found that part of the Etsy listing the written part of it had been stolen because part of it was framed as, you know, a whimsy or whatever, uh, whimsical story that was included as a listing underneath the dolls that were being sold had been lifted and put into the article. And once they knew that literary plagiarism had happened, the article became unacceptable. Now, uh, our solution, and I say our because I was involved in uh, this solution at the time, was to contact what I consider, well, my personal opinion was we needed to contact the aggrieved party and find out what she wanted to do. Uh, and her solution was to just make sure that there was a link to one of her products, you know? The SCP Wiki benefited from having this up for years, so why not let her benefit a little bit from having a link from the Wiki where a lot of people were reading this thing that she wrote to her own works? So we did. We created a, a workaround solution, much like the one on SCP-173. And that was that. However, recently, and I, by the way, I don't necessarily think that was the right thing to do now that I've had time to really consider it. I think asking, because th this is, you know, one of those things like, hey, we've stolen from you. I personally, my viewpoint was, hey, we've stolen from you. We have caused you harm. How would you like us to handle it? We should have taken it down first and then contacted her to let her know that the, pro the problem was a problem. Although I'd say that the SCP Wiki would be very much against the idea of contacting people who had their shit stolen. Because if we contacted everybody who had their stuff stolen, we would get sued on the SCP Wiki. I don't know why I'm using a we. I'm not really part of the Wiki anymore. <laughs> anyway. So once literary plagiarism was identified, that was the end of the article. In the end. Recently, um they took a harder line stance on this sort of stuff and they finally got rid of it completely wiped it out. And because of that new policy change on how they deal with plagiarism and a hard line stance that no plagiarism is acceptable on the wiki. It doesn't matter if you get permission for it. It still has to go. Recently they've come up with a new policy with regards to SCP 173. And I am sorry to say absolutely nothing is going to change. Of course, if you thought I was leading up to the idea that SCP-173 was going to get taken down because it's plagiarized, you, you don't understand how the wiki works. It is a group of people who do... It is not some official... It, it's, it's To be fair, a lot of big organizations have this exact same problem. The SCP wiki is definitely one of them, uh, where it's just an organization of people with various opinions. And their opinion is that SCP-173 is somehow the cornerstone of the wiki. And if we get rid of it, it will irreparably oh, fucking <laughs> like the SCP-173 is somehow it, like, they, like there aren't thousands of other SCPs. If, they, if we pull SCP-173 out because it was stolen, wh what can we do? And anyway, the new policy has been that they get rid of the old images. <laughs> I've actually really changed and hardened my stance on this because this is, like I said, the images policy where you pull the old images out and put new ones in or just pull them out and leave them out uh, is something that I personally, I personally set up the basics of the current policy. I think it maybe has changed a little bit since then. And like I said, I didn't have to do any of the hard work in enforcing it, so I wouldn't give myself too much credit on that count. But regardless, I think I've hardened a little bit on this stance because, I mean, what is the difference between stealing an image and stealing text? Both are creative works. Art, what are artists not somehow creative people? Or photographers don't have to spend time and effort to create photography? 
Like these people don't deserve to have their work respected the same way. I don't know. Like I said, I've changed a little bit on this and I've hardened a little bit on my uh, my position. I think I think these older things that have been straight up plagiarized. And when I say plagiarized, I mean it because we're talking about articles where people posted up the images. And sure, even if 90 percent of the people that read the article just and this is not probably true, it's probably not much less than 90 percent. But even if 90 percent of the people who read an article think that the image is is an original to the creator and was just lifted off the internet somewhere and and slotted in. That 10% is important. Credit is important. And it doesn't matter if it's SCP-173 or SCP-54. I'm, I'm not going to give an actual number because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If, first of all, I could be listing something that is explicitly the same prop. It would be very ironic if I listed something new that was exactly the same problem. But it doesn't matter if it's SCP-173, which is rated at like 6,000 or something, or some plus 20 article. There's no difference in the wrongness of those things. So many problems that they just, they move to fix, and then but they won't move all the way. They're like, we're taking a hardline stance against plagiarism on the SCP wiki. Except for all the other plagiarism that we think is okay. Anyway... I think maybe that got a little ranty there, but it was important to say. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this kind of content, scroll down and hit the subscribe button or else there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. That joke comes from The Simpsons. <laughs> and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian like everybody here on the screen already has, including Vivi and Dr. J Redacted who are both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who is pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday.